country music. The community gathers at Heritage Park for a rare country close-up concert. We're just going to throw down for a little, uh, little late summer country music here in the park. Alamo reopens. Back better than ever, Alamo Draft House Lost Cleanest returns with new upgrades and specials. A lot of hard work that went into getting this place up and running again, uh, so we're super excited to be here tonight. Frosty Beverage. We try several different treats at Milkshakes and More in a new Irving Eats. If you start with quality ingredients, you, you can make a good, really anything. And in Feature Flicks, I review one of the most talked about films of the summer, Colleen Hoover's first novel adapted to the big screen, It Ends With Us. Oh, that's my brother, Ryle. The first official customer. Well, you'd have to buy something to be considered a customer. Right now, you're just loitering. Hello everyone, welcome to Irving Spotlight. I'm Susan Stevens. We begin tonight with a special event at Heritage Park. New Country 96.3 and 99.5 The Wolf teamed up with the city for a free country close-up concert featuring Matt Stell and Austin Snell. I got a three-day beard and don't plan to shave and it's a goofy thing but I just gotta say Anybody out there from a small town, make some noise like you're proud to be from there, yes. We're just going to throw down for a little, uh, little late summer country music here in the park, man. Today is an inaugural event with Country Close Up. We are kicking off with Cumulus Radio and 96.3995 here in DFW. I'm looking forward to a tremendous event. We just came to hear some good music, some good country music, and uh, just have a good time. We have Matt Stell and Austin Snell. So if you've listened to the radio stations, they're not related, but they're a close, rhymy name there. So uh, we're looking forward to their uh, participation tonight. And the whole idea of this event is to have kind of up and coming artists. And I think everybody's gonna enjoy the live show. I'd like to thank country listeners uh, for believing in love and country music. We like to stick to the, the you know, the stuff we've kind of written and the record. We just had a new record out about a month ago. So we'll stick with that. And you know, the songs that folks may know of ours. I'm a music person from way back, so any and all kinds of music, that's right up my alley. This is his first concert, so he's very excited. Performing live is, uh, there's just nothing like that energy, man, especially if the folks know the songs. I feel like Texas, uh, you know, loves live music in a way that not a lot of places do. Playing music with my buddies, man. You know, that's that's what we like to do, and tonight we get to do it here in Irving, Texas. We want to utilize this newly renovated space, and we want to really encapsulate what this was meant for. Music brings people together, and uh, and and that's always great for a community. The tighter knit, the better, I think. Into the sunrise. The sunrise. While some enjoy the tunes of an outdoor concert, others are ready to cool off and watch a movie at Alamo Draft House Las Cleanas. After a short closure, the theater is back. We attended their soft open and learned more about their exciting new movies and offers. It's the theater for movie lovers. <laughs> I just think it's very unique in the way they do movies. I think it's a little bit more personal too, mm -hmm. just like yes. the experience. The Alamo Drafthouse Cinema Los Cleanest unexpectedly closed all its DFW locations this past spring. I honestly cried when Alamo shut down. Um, it was very emotional for me. Thankfully, it was a short closure and all the theaters have reopened, including the beloved Alamo located at the Toyota Music Factory. A lot of hard work that went into getting this place up and running again. Uh, so we're super excited to be here tonight. I'm really happy just because, you know, they do offer vegan options. So there's somewhere where I can actually eat and watch the movies because it's something that we love to do. I'm so excited. I work right next door, so I would be able to come and like see movies like right after I got off of work. And for a limited time, you can watch some of the summer's hottest releases for an affordable price. If you miss Deadpool, you have to come see that. We have It Ends With Us. The Crow just came out this week. Alien Romulus, which is something that really should be seen on the big screen. All of those are playing right now, and for the next two weeks of our soft opening, tickets are only $5, and we're offering 25% off of select food and beverages. 
almost all the Friday night showings were sold out, with the community eager to return to Alamo and watch a movie. Alien. Yes. <laughs> we're huge fanatics, so we, of course we had to come. <laughs> yes. Alien Romulus and Blink Twice. We're doing a double feature. You can continue to watch films back to back with an Alamo season pass that allows you to see up to one movie per day for only $20 a month. And that includes a lot of our repertory programming as well, so it really gives you a, a wide variety that you wouldn't get at other theaters. Something else you won't get at other theaters is their eclectic menu that offers several made from scratch dishes. I think the pizza is probably my favorite though because it's handmade dough and uh, yeah, I'm just. I'm just a sucker for handmade pizza. And a one-of-a-kind movie watching experience. We did a building dedication to John Carpenter. We worked with Texas Frightmare. So I feel like we've really integrated ourselves into Irving. And so I was just incredibly excited and grateful that we get to be back here. There is some controversy surrounding one of the films you can watch at Alamo, but we're staying out of the drama and focusing on what we do know, which are my thoughts on the movie. Based on the New York Times bestseller by Colleen Hoover, It Ends With Us stars Justin Baldoni and Blake Lively, who gives a truly inspiring performance to a layered character. We all have an idea of what love can be. I want to see you again. Now you see me. You know what I mean. <laughs> Lively plays Lily Bloom, who overcomes a traumatic childhood and sets off to open her own flower shop. She meets a handsome neurosurgeon and the two begin a romantic relationship. But things take a dark turn when she starts to see signs of abuse similar to her past. She then realizes she must rely on her own strength to break a violent pattern and make a difficult choice for a brighter future. While the film might shy away from overly graphic images, they are not shying away from the issue of domestic violence. The approach is painfully realistic in that it's not often talked about and those involved may want to focus on the positive in their life versus acknowledging any red flags. I still remember the day I saw you in the window. Yeah, we were just kids then. Whenever a film is adapted from a book, you can always tell there are missing pieces that would have probably added more to the plot. At times, It Ends With Us does feel rushed and audiences will want more from the characters. Luckily, the film should satisfy readers and even encourage new ones. The film does a wonderful job at appealing to the emotions and giving an authentic perspective. There's a fine line to what may be considered romantic or aggressive. And this movie cleverly portrays how one might see things the way they want to instead of how they really are. While this film has romance and deals with a serious subject matter, this is a story about a strong, resilient woman who is much more than what has happened to her. She's a daughter, a friend, a mother, a business owner, and she stands for hope. The entire cast is fantastic, especially the much needed comic relief by Jenny Slate. But it's Lively and Baldoni who pull you in from the start with their polarizing performances. It Ends With Us is an unforgettable, compelling story that will move all audiences. It Ends With Us is now playing. Check AMC Irving Mall and Alamo Drafthouse Cinema Las Cleanas for showtimes. Watching a movie inside a theater isn't the only way to cool down. You can also try a refreshing ice cold shake or another tasty beverage at Milkshakes and More. In this Irving Eats, we explore their many different drinks and sweets. Passion meets precision at Milkshakes and More, where every recipe is crafted into a flavorful treat. If you start with quality ingredients, you, you can make a good, really anything. The milkshakes are awesome. We, we basically use ice cream and milk, and then we have inclusions that you can put in them. We do a classic shake, which is strawberry or chocolate or vanilla. One of the shop's most popular shakes is the salted caramel Oreo cookie. Oh my God, it's so good. I just got some toffee bits and they are the best, wow. Along with some other customer favorite mixtures. Chocolate raspberry and cream is very popular. Our peanut butter brownie bite. We got our brownies from the bakery two doors over. Thank you. Thank you. Have a day, you too. We're a small family owned local business. We want to support other family owned local businesses. So. Of course, if you're not feeling a milkshake, there are more options. I think my daughter would have killed me if we didn't have boba tea anyway. Two scoop sundae with the brown sugar with boba. In addition to several teas, Milkshakes and More offers coffees, 
smoothies, slushies, gourmet chocolates, and popcorn. Something for everyone in the family to enjoy, because not everyone wants a milkshake at the same time. No matter what you choose to indulge in, the business prides itself on friendly customer service, catering to all dietary restrictions, and providing generous servings. One of the biggest complaints I saw about milkshakes in general was they fill the cup three quarters with the milkshake and then they fill it the rest of the way with whipped cream. We always want to give more, right? Give more rather than less. Giving more to his hometown. I've been living in Irving since 2015 and I just love the community. I love the diversity of it. And inviting everyone to explore a variety of sweet treats to satisfy their cravings. Keep up with all the exciting entertainment that's happening. Levi Gomez, our man about town, shares his suggestions of fun things you can do around the city. The Motowner Show is a tribute to many artists and great songs from the classic Motown years. Expect to hear tributes to hits by The Temptations, Diana Ross, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, and many more. Enjoy a night of rhythm and blues here at the Irving Arts Center, September 12th at 7.30 p.m. ICTN's Game of the Week returns for its 44th season. We're kicking off with the Grand Prairie versus Nimitz homecoming game. The game is here at Join Ralph Ellis Stadium September 13th at 7 p.m. You can tune in to the ICTN live stream on our YouTube channel. Play a live version of the game Candy Lane and see who makes it to the top of the Gumdrop Castle first. Celebrate colors and candy here at the Lee Park Rec Center September 14th at 10 a.m. The Irving Art Center invites you to experience the abstract and mathematical art exhibit, Lane Banks, Geometric Paintings. Banks is a Dallas-based artist who produces work conceptual in origin and geometric in appearance. The exhibit opens September 15th with the reception at 2 p.m. at the Dupree Lobby Gallery. Indulge in the heart and soul of New Orleans through its iconic food, music, arts, and culture. The New Orleans Brass and Culture Fest will include food trucks, vendors, live music, and much more. Come down to Levy Event Plaza to get a true taste of NOLA, September 21st at 11 a.m. Calling all knitting, crochet, and weaving fanatics, the DFW Fiber Fest is back in Irving. The event offers classes by expert fiber instructors and well-curated vendor hall with all your fiber needs. Enjoy a weekend of all things fiber here at the Irving Convention Center, September 20th through the 23rd. And that wraps up this episode of Irving Spotlight. Join us next time as we bowl for a good cause at the 5th Annual Lost Cleanest Bowlathon. And we see what's playing at this year's Movies on Main. As always, tell us stories you'd like to see on the show. You can email us at ictn at cityofirving.org or connect with us on social media. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on X and Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great evening. For Irving Spotlight, I'm Susan Stevens.